Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to make a simple starry night sky. Despite the fact that stars are rarely the focus of a render, they serve an important role in the background, and littering your scene with unrealistic stars can be a death knell for the realism of your scene. Back in version 2.6, Blender had a built-in star generator, but that was killed off in version 2.7. Since then, people have come up with different ways of making stars in Blender, with varying degrees of success, but oftentimes the stars are static and do not fit in with an animation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a convincing starry sky that you can tweak to your liking and can use in still renders or in animations. We'll be exploring some cool techniques in this video, including building and using particle systems, duplicating objects with particle systems, and using glare and lens distortion in the compositor. Let's dive right in. First of all, open up a new blend file, delete all the initial components, and add a UV sphere. Hit S and type 1000 to scale it up by a factor of 1000. The sphere will form the emitter of our star field. Next, add a camera to the scene. Hit numpad 0 to check out the view from the camera. You shouldn't see anything because the sphere's borders exceed the clipping distance of the camera. To remedy this, right click to select the camera, go to the properties panel, and on the right side, select the camera tab. Under lens, change end to 1500 and watch as the sphere pops into view. Next, we want to make the background black like the night sky. Go to the world tab in the properties panel, click on the gray color box, and drag the brightness of the color down all the way to turn the sky black. Let's make our stars. Right click to select the sphere and go to the particles tab in the properties panel. Click the new button to create a new particle system. If you play the animation now, you'll see your future stars falling out of the sphere and down into oblivion. We don't want this because stars tend to stay where they are, at least in our universe. Let's change some settings. First, under emission, change the lifetime of the particles to something like 100 and change the value under end to one. This will make sure all the particles are generated in the first frame and stay in the scene for as long as we want. Under Velocity, turn the value for Normal down to 0, and under Field Weights, turn Gravity down to 0 as well. This is necessary for animations, but not for stills. Next, scroll down to Render and uncheck Emitter. We don't want to see the sphere itself in our scene, and this will prevent it from rendering. To add the stars themselves, switch to another layer and add an Icosphere. Give it an Emission Shader in the Materials tab and turn the brightness up to 5. This is one star, and we will attach it to the particle system. Go back to the layer with the sphere, and in the Particle System settings, scroll down to Render, click Object, and select the Icosphere you created earlier. Use the real-time render view to see how it's coming out, and play with the size until you find something that looks realistic. We can see from the rendered view that there definitely aren't enough particles, so scroll up to Emission in the Particle settings, and increase the number of particles until you get something you like. I found 5,000 to be a good number. Render your image, and we can begin compositing. Split your screen vertically to show the rendered image and the compositor. Check Use Nodes and Backdrop so you can begin improving the render. The first thing we're going to do is add glare. Add a glare node, change the type to Fog Glow, and play with the threshold so that some of the stars are illuminated but not all. Next, add a Lens Distortion node, check off Jitter to add some film grain, and change the dispersion value to something low, like 0.01. This will add some cool looking chromatic aberration. After that, you're done! Good job! You've made a basic starry sky. If you have any questions or want to suggest a tutorial, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more tutorials like these and let me know how I can improve. Thanks for watching and have a nice night.